the Rift Necklace. It grants the power of time travel, but no one has it. It's locked behind this portal in high pixel skyblock. The evil wizard stops anyone from entering, but Dragoon made a terrible mistake and needs to go back to change history. So over the past three years, he built a YouTube channel to gain influence, to rig an election, to pressure the game developers to open the portal. Now, the portal is finally open. Inside are enemies of Dragoon and rumors of a Kraken. Let's go. The first step is, oh, Minecraft crashed. This video was meant to be serious. I'm back in and went to the wizard tower. Let me into the rift. You actually rocked up, but I'm afraid you're too late. I just let a man called Arian into the portal. He seemed much stronger than you. I'm sure he'll get the necklace first. Damn it, there has to be another way in. I have to hurry. I went downstairs and talked to the wizard's assistant. The portal? Oh yes, there is another way in. But I forget. I'm too tired. Whew, I need some coffee. So I went to get some coffee, and we have to make a moral decision. Do we get Nicole cheap coffee, or decent coffee, or zombie brain mix? The decision was so difficult, I gave her all three. Hello, hi, hey, portal? Yes, I know a secret entrance. Listen closely. It's actually the same entrance, but you can distract the wizard. He has a special weakness. It's called a violence. He told me to get on the outside of the tower, sneak behind the wizard, and hit him over the head. With him unconscious, I could finally enter the portal to get the necklace. Inside the rift, I looked around and noticed three things. I have zero moats, only eight minutes left to live, and there are people here. Hey, Elise, where can I find the- I'm busy. I'm working on the next big thing. All right, there's also this dimension's wizard. Welcome. I'm not sure why my brother let you in, but anyway, you have limited time in this dimension. Eight minutes here before you're banished. But you're safe until you leave this tower. I just want the necklace. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right outside. Just get close to the edge and look far down. <laughs> oh god, why did I try? Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I have eight minutes left to get the necklace, and I don't know where Arian is. I need the necklace to fix a terrible mistake from my past. At least these purple particles give me moats as I run into them. That's good. Unless moats are toxic. Are moats BPA free? Do moats cause cancer? I met an inverted man. He says he knows about the necklace, but he can't think straight. Mission. Uninvert the inverted man. To do that, I have to get some coffee from this dimension. But first, I ran into a shy. This is a creature with social anxiety. Kill it like the rest. Maybe the coffee's in the sky. It's time for the Big Bounce Bonanza Booyah Extreme! There's an item up there. I'm doing it again. I clicked it, but I haven't found Enigma yet. Enigma sounds like it could be a barista. I should find them, but I only have two and a half minutes left. I had fun bouncing, right? What about this guy? Are you Enigma? He ran away. I climbed the ladder and found him. He ran away again, making me do tree parkour. For the next two minutes, I chased Enigma doing parkour as he led me further through the trees, until he finally stopped. You are leading me to an Enigma cube. I can finally get it. Nope, you aren't Enigma. I still can't get it. Find Enigma at the base of the wizard tower. Oh, if only I had learned to read before three seconds ago. I have 15 seconds left and I'm running to the wizard tower. Who's that? Are you Enigma? You are. 10 seconds left. Give me coffee. I must uninvert the inverted man to get the necklace. No! I ran out of time, sent back to the regular dimension. I lost my chance. I spent three years for those eight minutes? Wizard, give me another chance. You want back in after what you did? Well, you can't. You're a failure, kid. Unless, of course, you have cash. Wait, really? Listen, I would tear your limbs off for a rice cracker, but $5 is $5. So you got cash or not? Luckily, I spent the last three years getting rich in this game, so I paid him to get another eight minutes in the rift. Off to talk to a Enigma. Enigma doesn't sell coffee, they give access to these souls, which each give 20 seconds each rift visit. And tells me Arian already has all the souls. Cool! You know what time it is. I'm back, fake Enigma. I did tree parkour mercilessly, as I am a parkour master. With two souls, I'll get 8 minutes and 40 seconds next time. Does this flower lead to the rift barista? It leads to another flower. And another flower. Mission, follow the flowers. The flowers led me to jump off the map. I trust it. Oh, it's another soul. 9 minutes. Wizard man! How do I help the inverted man? Rude. I spent most of my time chasing flowers, so I'm already out of time. I gotta kill a shy before I go. <laughs> Arian's already fighting the Kraken, you know. Shut up. I now have nine minutes in the rift, plenty of time to get the necklace. Also, it's now at least three. Is she dying and being replaced with a new generation every time I leave? I climbed the trees and asked for coffee, and found Argo Fay 10 counter. She started counting. Oh god, what is she gonna count to? What insane thing is gonna happen? Eight, nine. That was 10 seconds. She just wasted 10 10 of my seconds. I got pranked. I can't believe I was so stupid. Arian wouldn't have fallen for this. God, why am I so weak? I'm done. You can be a spider in this game.
game. That looks fun. All right, I'm taking a break from hunting for coffee and necklaces to become a flying spider. So I killed Shies to buy a lava hook to get lava silk, which you put between two ledges, then use a stick to get onto the silk, then get stuck inside the tree for eternity and die. Then remember you can move forward and you are flying. <laughs> I am all powerful. Icarus should have flown higher. He just needed spider web. All right, I'm back. Now I can fly and catch bugs and jugs to feed this guy so he gives me advice. Remember, you can read. Oh yeah. With my newfound abilities of reading, I went back to the inverted man. You should be able to find the potion at any local brewery. The potion being coffee. Is the brewery at the top of the Big Bounce Bonanza Booyah Extreme? No, but I got 20 more seconds. I found the bar. Give me a drink, bartender. He says he's out of coffee. Although he knows a guy who knows a guy who knows the supplier, so I paid him 20 motes for this information. Seek out Alabaster, he might know something. Alabaster doesn't know, but if I pay him 20 motes, he says Dakinoru will know. He doesn't, but maybe Chester will know. He doesn't, but maybe Lazarus will know. He doesn't, but this is a scam! I got hot potatoed between every bar patron until I ran out of time. I bribed the wizard and went back in with 10 full minutes of rift time. I talked to everyone that's ever drunk alcohol to get the coffee supplier, and finally, Fafnir helped me out. He said the supplier is an alchemist who lives in the trees. I took my frustration out on a bunch of shies. It's okay, they don't feel physical pain, they're already in maximum emotional pain. I went into the trees and found someone bathing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, he offered me coffee. Where were you keeping that? With the coffee, I'm one step closer to undoing my mistake. On my way back, I found a soul encased in glass. Can I break it? It has seven health. Oh god, I have to go back up and hit it over and over. But first, I'll fix the inverted man. So I poured the coffee on his feet. He'll absorb it, I think. He says the key component of the necklace is the supreme timepiece, guarded by a great ocean giant. No one's been able to fight it alone. He says Elise should know where it is. She wasn't the most friendly last time we spoke. On my way to Elise, I tried the glass soul, hit it once, climbed back up again, and it still has the same health. Never mind. Elise the seventh. Yeah, I died a lot of times getting the coffee. I heard that a great ocean monster has a time charm to make the necklace. I'm busy. I'm working on the- Wait, did you say time charm? Hmm, well, I don't know where the monster is, but I might know someone who does. Pay me 20 moats for the information. I ain't doing this shit again, woman. Fine. There is an all-seeing eye that can tell you where the ocean giant is, but you'll need to sing a poem to soothe it. Hmm, but do I have to soothe it, or can I beat it into submission? This is a serious video, no songs allowed. Health doesn't matter in the rift, combat is all about time, trying to banish me before it dies. But I won, and I used its powers to get a glimpse into the dungeon of the sea serpent. I see water, a doctor, a very sad person hanging off the edge. I have to save them! Only they know how to find the time charm, and they're about to jump! Hey, uh, uh how are you? I need help. Here. How to deal with depression. WikiHow, yeah, that should be good. Look for signs of depression. Sitting off a ledge 200 meters in the sky. Consult with your doctor. I don't know any doctors. I'll have to become one. Can you pass this general knowledge quiz in five minutes without a single mistake? What's the smallest country? Vatican City. I made a video on it. I didn't make a video on that. I'm guessing. 17 out of 35, which rounds up to 20 out of 35, which is 57%. That's a pass. I am a doctor. I'm skipping to the end. Try alternative therapies. Hmm. Do you want to make a song about about catching bugs? Hey man, my cat is just missing. If you want to help, just go find my cat. Oh, sure. I found the cat really quickly. Maybe I have a sixth sense for cats. Or maybe it's because it's dead. Yeah, this cat is just bones. But that isn't Jack Hill's biggest problem. Their biggest problem is that they've changed beings. Unless that's just a lot of makeup. Ah, my ghost cat. Thanks for returning him. Oh, thank goodness. But I'm retired now. Montezuma wants adventure. He should go with you. I got a cat. Me and Monty will defeat the crack. Get the time charm and finally use the necklace to time travel to change history But the only person with information on finding the kraken is this bug catcher who wants eight bugs If we feed him he'll give us advice So I have to fly around catching slugs that'll take a while It'll be repetitive so the only way to do it is in a montage Dragoon and Monty on a quest for catching bugs They jokes to straight slugs to show the kraken that's what's up The monster, a fierce fight that won't stop till they drop her A time travel battle, Dragoon is ready, his blood is getting out I'll say that he will fail, Dragoon will not succeed, but he knows he'll prevail, cause he learned how to read.
After a few ref timeouts, I got all eight bug jugs and he ate them all in a single bite, and said to find the Kraken, you have to venture into its territory. There is an old boathouse, someone there has fought the creature before. I found the boathouse immediately, but going to that area takes four minutes of my time, I have to be stronger. So I got this guy to build me an armor set that gives me a full extra minute of time. Here it is. Don't laugh at the armor, this is serious. It has strong resistance to time damage. So I went forward into the next area, took four minutes of damage and found a new enemy, a dead hog. Looks like it's charging up. Oh god, it's a machine gun of arrows. They each take time from me? Come on, this is not working. You die. It's doing it again. Why am I so bad at this? Why are mushrooms spawning all around me? Okay, okay, I figured it out. You go attack them. Then when they charge up, run behind a mushroom that blocks the arrows. I'm a genius. I am invincible. Oh, there's two of them shooting in both directions. No. This time I'm avoiding the dead hogs and going right for the boathouse. Mission, get to the boathouse. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Don't go to tell me twice. I didn't expect to be jump scared in Minecraft. On the other side of the new area is a cave with parkour, something I'm familiar with. This should lead me to something important. Oh, I fell. Finger must have slipped. Let's try again. What? I, I wasn't even trying that time. This time I'll get a run up. Okay, game of music time. This is the jump. Don't let your ancestors down. Damn it, I'm sorry, Simon. If I don't make this, I'm deleting my channel and moving to Vatican City to plot my next move. Okay, I made it. I'm halfway, I can rest on the dirt. What? You can't touch the dirt? The dirt is angry? I'm fucking angry! It's fine, I'm back, avoiding the angry dirt, of course. This is the end. It was for an enigma soul, but it's on dirt. I have to be careful. I got it! I'm sure that 20 extra seconds will come in handy. Also, I found someone. Uh, the doctor. Do you know how to get to the Kraken? He just reminds me to go to the boathouse. I already knew that, but I'm too scared of the leeches. I'm so afraid and sad. Okay, this helmet can't portray sadness. I'm taking it off. I'm so afraid and sad. No, my skin is also a smiley face. I'm so afraid and sad. I need to drown my sorrows. Now what if there's a leech in the water? Killed some more dead hogs and could craft a new helmet. This is a, a little more serious. I'll try traversing the lake again. What's up, Elise 12? All right, here we go. I'm in the water, then leeches spawn and kill me. At least I can kill them out of the water. They dropped lily pads, but how do I get past them? I don't get it. Wait, is that a person? How the hell are you? Oh, I get it. For I am a parkour master. I can place lily pads on the water as I run across the water. Thank you, stranger. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm actually not that good at parkour. Round two. And I missed the ladder. Don't disappoint your ancestors. Lend me your strength, plesiosaur. They say that if you see a lily pad in the wild, there's a 90% chance it was placed by Dragoon trying to parkour. But eventually he made it. On the island was Kay, who has been researching leeches for the past 12 years and come to a scientific discovery. Leeches equals bad. Same philosophy as Shy's. Aye, lad. You seek the Kraken. Uh, yeah, I do. Abandon hope. My ship crew faced against a vile serpent, and all died but me. Look at my face. Do I look afraid? I am physically incapable of looking scared. Fine. If you want to fight it, there's an all-seeing orb that can help you. But you have to sing it a poem to get it to like you. Nope. I used its powers and saw only the doctor, so I went back to him. I thought the sailor would convince you to change your mind, but if you are determined, I will take you there. I warn you, you won't win alone. I have to go forward. My mission is far too important. This is my fate, to battle the Keeper of the Time Charm. If I win, I can get the necklace I've been waiting three years for. And here is the arena. This is it. The Kraken. The Leech Supreme. You're going to have to imagine he looks like this. Minecraft has some limitations. I battled intensely. Then he ran away and summoned slime explosions that knocked me into the water, taking 20 seconds of time. The hell could I do? I'm being pummeled. Wait, I managed to jump over one. And another one. He came back down and we fought to oblivion. Dodge more explosions. He was down to half health. I'm gonna do it. Let's go! My time ran out. Wizard, I know we've hated each other, but please, what can I do to win? I don't know, kid. Maybe just give up? Go get some friends and do something else. I heard Arian is coming to kill you just for fun. May as well enjoy your time until then. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going back in. I need some more time so I'll get more souls. Wait a second. The glass soul. Someone built a web between it so they can get close. That's amazing. Thank you, stranger. I wonder who put it here. I would never have figured this out alone. 20 more seconds. If I 
start a new run and go straight to the Kraken Den, I may have enough time. Hi, Elise the 18th. I'm about to get the time charm. I ran to the doctor. He warned me I can't beat it alone. I went in anyway and fought the leech. All my attacks were hitting, but he stole my time. How do I dodge this? I ran out of time again. Elise the 19th. I'm going to win. Oh, it's like Hedgehog, but dare. Come on, die. I ran out of time. Elise the 20th. I won't let you down. You can't beat it alone. You're a failure, kid. Elise the 21st. This is the one. Time is a social construct, so why is it killing me? 360 no scope. At least the 33rd, I will win. I still can't do it in time. Ah! I don't know the Kraken's weakness, but I know someone who might. Pay me 20 moats. <laughs> At least the 41st. Leech, more like screech. <laughs> At least the 56th. <sighs> I'm going to win this time. At this point, I'm so comfortable with losing, I don't really feel stressed anymore. I can relax and look around me. Wait, I hear something. Is that a cat? I am so lost in this waterfall, but there, another piece of Montezuma's soul. Now Monty is even stronger. This is what I needed to win. I couldn't fight the Kraken alone. I needed my cat. So I went into battle. I was better at jumping over the slime. My hits were connecting. I dodged explosions until my parkour skills caught up with me. Soon I was in the water. I couldn't Keep up with the new attacks. Don't let your ancestors down. This one's for you, Microbe 7. I won't be able to finish it in time. There's no way. I can't go back to Elise again. Wait, who's that? Another player? Can you help me? Am I saved? It's Arian. No, I'm being destroyed. I got knocked into the water and Aaron hid inside a hole in the arena. He knows exactly how to beat it. I came all this way to lose to another player. Still, I can't give up. What can I do? He's stronger and smarter than me. How can I beat Aaron? Dude, you good? You can't stop me, Aaron. I will beat the Kraken no matter what. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Now come back and help. What? I, I thought you were here to kill me. The wizard said- The wizard is a drunk who likes playing games and scaring people. I'm not your enemy. Now hurry. Hurry up and stab the- Oh, my anger melted away and I saw that we were in the final phase of the fight, but I only had 14 seconds left. Those 20 seconds from the parkour run, I have to use them. You go for the legs and I'll go for the head. Come on! And I timed out, just after I got the time charm. Without Arian, I would have never won. I have the time charm, I hope my ancestors are proud of me. Thank you, Ball of Concentrated Energy. Elise gave me the necklace. Now I can use it to time travel and fix my terrible mistake of activating windows. All my videos should have a watermark on them. Now to go back. Oh no, that's only the first part of the necklace. It doesn't have the power to time travel. There are seven more pieces to get. And Arian might not be your enemy, but Morgan already has the next one. 